Mm. Take your passy out. Go eat Easter bunny. Are you excited to see the Easter bunny? Yeah. Are you going to smile and say cheese and take a good picture? Easter bunny be my car. Easter bunny's going to bring you a car? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Is that what you're going to tell him you want him to bring you inside one of your eggs? Yeah. <laughs> what should he bring Zebby? The egg. Bring, yeah. You want Zebby to have some eggs too? Yeah. That's very sweet. Are you excited to go see him? Yeah. Okay, we're about to go. I'm probably at the front of the ball. I had to guess. Yay! Sebastian, what? over there. Can you see him? <laughs> Who is that? Is that the Easter Bunny? <laughs> 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 Good job. Are you gonna sit in his lap and take a picture? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can go, mommy. Come with mommy. Let's go see him. seeing the Easter Bunny. Our son likes peeps. Should we disown him? Yes. <laughs> you think that? So this first activity that we did was making peeps play-doh. Um, it didn't exactly turn out the way that um, I had seen it on Pinterest and Instagram from other moms. But needless to say, it was fun. He played with it for probably 30 minutes, which honestly, if I get 30 minutes out of an activity, then I guess it's worth it considering it took all of like three seconds to prepare. Um, it's literally just a packet of peeps, some Crisco, and some flour. And you put it in the microwave, stir it together, roll it out. It doesn't exactly roll like normal Play-Doh. Um, it's kind of more sticky, like gooey. But everything said not to use more flour, so I didn't use more flour, but maybe if I had, it wouldn't have been so sticky and would have actually been more enjoyable to play with. But either way, Sebastian had fun for a good 30 minutes or so, and I guess if we get 30 minutes out of it, then it was worth it. So that was a fun activity that we did. He also um, tried peeps for the first time, and he actually likes them. So Zach and I joked that we have to now disown him because peeps are disgusting. Comment down below if you are a peeps eater because we can no longer be friends if you are because peeps are disgusting. But just kidding. Comment down below, though, if you like peeps. I'm curious how many people actually do versus how many people don't like peeps. Um, but yeah, so this is what we did on our first activity for Easter week, and it was a lot of fun.
Okay, so I wanted to try and give some variety to the things we were doing this week. So yesterday we made the Peeps Play-Doh and today what I decided to do was more arts and crafts instead of like an activity, I guess you could say. So one of the things that I saw on Pinterest was this um, felt Easter egg kind of concept, but I don't have any felt and I had foam. So, which if you watch the St. Patrick's Day video, that's why I have the foam. Um, <laughs> But, so, because I had the foam, I decided to just make a giant Easter egg, and I figured we could use fine motor skills and use some glue and just practice just basically decorating a giant Easter egg. Seems extremely simple, but I knew the Sebastian would love it, and I was right. He absolutely loved it, but basically all I did was just kind of draw a rough shape of an egg, and as you can see, it was clearly um, a struggle for me to draw it, but I eventually got the shape, and I just cut it out, and then in the different color foam, I cut out just different lines, triangles, hearts, or not hearts, um, circles, just different little shapes, and just tried to use as much of it as I could without really wasting it, because I figured any shape really could just go on the Easter egg, and obviously, had I been decorating this egg, it would have been a very different look than his because I kind of cut the shapes to be certain designs. Um, but he made his own little egg and it actually turned out so cute and it's now hanging on the wall and it got us in the definite spirit of Easter and he had a lot of fun doing this. He actually kept coming back to this one and wanting to do more glue um, and put more shapes down and he did not want my help at all. He was very opinionated and very independent on where he wanted his shapes on his egg. And I definitely think he had a blast doing it. So this was a huge hit, even though it was super, super simple. I mean, I could do this every day, just draw shapes and let him, you know, glue things down. And I think he would have so much fun. But yeah, so this was a hit activity. He really, really enjoyed it. So the next activity that I prepared, um, obviously just like every other little kid, he wasn't as interested, I guess because it would cost him to learn instead of just play. And I guess that's just nature. Um, but he did enjoy this for a short period of time. He thought it was fun and he's gone back to it a couple times. So it does make it worth it. But all I did was draw an Easter egg and I wrote in letters that he knows. He obviously doesn't know every letter yet. He's still only two and a half, but he does know like A and C and M um, and whatever other letters I wrote in there. B, he knows those letters. So I used just the letters that he knows and I kind of just wrote them sporadically through the egg. And then the dot stickers, I actually got this from Busy Toddler. Um, her Instagram is something I use pretty often to think of activities and things like that to do with Sebastian. Um, and so the dot stickers were something that he got for Christmas. Hit My mother-in-law got him a ton of school stuff. So on the dot stickers, I just wrote the same letters and matched up the amount of letters with the amount of stickers. And it was just super easy for him to just like peel the stickers and match the letters. But if you know Sebastian, you know that I have said a couple times now that when he used his dot markers for the first time, he became obsessed. So when he saw these dots, he did not really want to use the matching letters. He just wanted to paint them with his dot markers. So he did end up kind of doing that quite a bit. But he matched the letters for a few minutes and it was definitely really cute to see him learning for the few minutes that he was willing to learn. But this was a super great activity and I think as he continues to get older, this will definitely be something we can use to do more different letters and introducing new letters just so he can see them and match them up. So this was a great activity and there's lots of growth potential here to do with future activities. So highly recommend.
What this signifies is, you know how, where's Jesus live? Okay. Where does Jesus live? In my heart. In your heart, exactly. And so, on Easter, they buried, or they killed Jesus on a cross, and then he rose from the dead. Yeah. And so when these tombs bake, they're going to be empty, and the marshmallow is going to go bye-bye. So, again, to add more spice and change things up, um, the next day what we decided to do was make resurrection rolls or empty tomb rolls, whatever you call them. We made them last year, and I actually filmed it in our Easter vlog, so I'll link that above if you want to see Sebastian making them last year, because it was really cute. He was much littler. But this year was way more helpful, and he was so into it. And literally all it is is marshmallows, melted butter, and sugar, um and cinnamon mixed together you literally and crescent rolls you take the marshmallow you dip it in the butter roll it around put it in the sugar mixture coat it put it inside the ro the crescent roll and then you bake it and when it comes out the marshmallow disappears and it's to symbolize the way the tomb was empty after jesus rose from the dead um, and I'm actually recording this on Good Friday, and what a special reminder and just memory that I was able to share with Sebastian, you know, that the tomb was empty and that Jesus is risen and he's alive in heaven and in our hearts. Um, and these just present the opportunity to share the Easter story with your littles where they can really understand it, because when you cut into it, the marshmallow is no longer there. And I hope to do these every year. Like I said, we did them last year for the first time. And this year we did them. And I hope to continue doing them and present it as a way every year to share the story of Easter and Jesus' resurrection and how he died on the cross to save us from our sins. And so, yeah, these were super special to make together. And Sebastian absolutely loved it. And, of course, they're a delicious snack because it's super sugary and super sweet. But, yeah, this was another really fun thing that I was glad we were able to do this year. Let's see if they're all finished. Ooh, those look yummy. All right, it is hot. Let mommy get them out, okay? Okay. Back up. Well, they didn't turn out perfect, but I bet they're going to taste yummy. When you cut it open, the marshmallow's all gone. <laughs>